Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding Concepts. This is about errors in programming. So errors are obviously when something goes wrong in a program. There are generally two types. There's critical system errors, and then there's application level errors. So critical system errors, programs run on operating systems. Usually when a program does something it's not supposed to, then the OS will terminate the program, but not always, it depends. Some examples would be trying to divide by zero. So computers can't divide by zero. This could result in negative or positive infinity. Generally, operating systems will terminate the program if this happens. Accessing unauthorized memory. So here we have RAM. So you need permission to access any memory address in RAM from the operating system. If you try without permission, it will be an error. This is called a segmentation fault. So say we have used RAM by other programs. And then your program gets one megabyte of stack memory. And then maybe you, add, you ask, ask for five megabytes more of heap memory. But say, for example, you try to access outside of the blue or the orange, any memory address there, you'll get a segmentation fault. Privilege violation. There are certain operations that require permission from the OS. Examples, opening a restricted port, deleting or modifying a restricted file, executing a privileged CPU instruction. Without proper permission, this will result in a system error. Application errors. These are normally specified by the user or the programming language and are, and are when something happens that you didn't want or expect. Your program won't be potentially terminated by the OS in this situation. Examples, unexpected value, value not found, no response from a server, syntax errors. So here's a passing example. So here we just want to get the age from a user and then multiply by 12. What happens though if we put in a non-numeric value? So this happens, value error, invalid literal for int with base 10 and we have the value a. Basically it's expecting a number because you can't multiply a letter, it doesn't work. So it's expecting this and gives you an error. This is an application level error. Here's a server error in JavaScript. So here we want to just get a page and then print it for the first 500 characters. What's the problem with this? Uh, well, it might not exist. We're returning something that might not exist. So we need to have some error checking. Um, here's the full error checking version. So we have a try catch block and then we check if it's null in the second one. I'll go into more detail about this kind of error handling in the next video, but this is how you would do it. So getting no response from a server is an application level error. Application errors are always preferable to system errors. With system errors, your program often closes suddenly without any warning. Whereas in application errors, you can see an error message with an explanation. For this reason, many programming languages will preempt system errors and check for you. For example, if we try to divide by zero. So doing this will give you a system level error, but lots of languages will stop you. We'll say division by zero, it, that's an application level error and gives you an error. If it happened on the system level, it would simply just close the program and you wouldn't be told anything. So this way we get an error message instead of just a silent crash. Examples of things that may cause application errors. Syntax errors, variable doesn't exist, for example. So something like this, we create A equals 10, print B, B doesn't exist, name B is not defined. Stack overflow, when your application uses too much memory, normally from an infinite loop. So here we simply just call the same function, it calls itself infinitely. So we get an error here, stack overflow exception. This would actually be a system level error, a segmentation fault, because we're, you, we're accessing a memory address outside of the allocated memory addresses we're given. Uh, and basically the, the language itself will detect this and stop it going to the system level to give you a warning. Incorrect type usage, uh, dividing, multiplying a non-numeric value, converting a string without numbers to a number type. So here, for example, we have, we create two strings and then we try to divide them. This is, will give you an error. Operator cannot be applied to operands of type string string. Basically the compiler doesn't understand what you mean here because how does it multi, how does it divide two strings? It doesn't understand what this means. Divided by zero, I've already showed it. Accessing an index outside the bounds of an array trying to use a null or uninitialized value and integer overflows. So that's all for this video. Next I will cover error handling. Thanks for watching.